Okay, so good evening. Um, let's continue with the blockchain no? so sample problem tayo. Pero this time, uh, pagsama-samahin na natin lahat, okay? So, gaya na na-discuss ko naman last time, okay, yung block share as you get the principle itself, okay? So, paulit-ulit lang naman yun, pare-parehas lang, okay? So, let's have the problem. A W10 by 12, 836 still is used as a tension member. 6, 16 mm diameter bolt is used to connect the member attached to each flange as shown. So, letter A, determine its allowable strength based on yielding. Letter B, determine its design strength based on rupture. And letter C, determine its ultimate strength based on block share. Okay, so isa-isa ni natin. Letter A muna tayo, no? So, for the letter A, okay, since we are asked to have the allowable, so we will use this as ASD. Okay? We will use ASD, okay? So, we will have the formula for the allowable, or PN muna tayo. So, that's equal to FY multiplied it by our AG. Okay? <clears throat> Since wala tayong FY na given, pero it is an A36 still, so we shall use 248 megapascal. Okay? And then multiply natin by its gross area. So given the properties of W10 by 12, we have 2,284 mm, uh, mm squared. Okay? mm squared. Divide ko na by 1,000 para maging kilonewton. So, our answer would be 248 times 2284 divided by 1,000. So, you have here equal to 566.437. Okay? So, this is now our nominal tension capacity in kilonewton. But we are having the allowable, so we will be having as P8. So, that's would become equal to Pn all over the omega. And our Pn is 566.437. Okay, I will divide it by our omega. For the allowable for yielding, that is equal to 1.67. So, our answer would be 339.18. Okay, kilo newton. So, this is now the answer for letter A. Okay? And the next, we will be having for letter B. Okay? So, B, we are asked to have the design strength based on rupture. So, we will be having as our LR FD. Okay? So, ah, yung table, so first, my table. Okay, so if you still remember our table yung pinag-usapan natin last time, so we will be having the nominal. So this time we will be having as Fu multiplied it by the effective area. Okay, so while the effective area is equal to our U multiplied it our net area. Okay, so naay mo na natin net area. So net area natin, okay, An, that would become equal to gross minus area ng hole wala naman tayong staggered so okay na siya okay so we will be having now the area gross which is already the 2284 okay kaya lang ima minus natin okay so ang bibilangin yung volts okay dapat magkakat kayo ng section ano so marami ako kasi nakita ang mali akala nila yung total number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 okay you have to cut at the first line of bolt. Okay? So, ito yun. So, kapag kinat mi section na yun, parang ito yung itsura niya. So, ang bolts mo lang talaga is 1, 2, 3, and then 4. So, apat lang yung ima-minus ko. Okay? So, 4. So, parang ganito yung magiging section mo. Pag kinat mo siya. Okay? Meron ka dong isang bolt. Dalawang bolt. Tatlong bolt. Apat na bolt. Okay? So, minus 4. And then, we have the diameter which is 16. Kaya lang, bolt ang binigay. So, add tayo ng around 3.2. Okay, based on Salmon. Okay, 3.2 mm for standard holes. And then, we multiply natin by the thickness. Since it is attached on the flange of the section, 
kailangan ng kukunin nating thickness is yung plunge. So, we have here 5.33. Okay? So, you will be having the net area equal to 2284 minus 4 times 16 plus 3.2 multiplied it by 5.33. So, you will be having us 1,874.66 mm squared. Okay? So, now, we will have the determination of U. Okay? So, CU, okay, dalawa yung possible, ano? although sabi nga natin is mas accurate yung case 2, which is equal to, uh, case 2 tayo, case 2, general formula, 1 minus bar X all over the N. Okay? So, ano yung bar X na kukunin? Again, if it is attached on the flange, yung bolts natin or yung connection natin, ang gagawin natin, yung I section natin, kakalahatiin natin sa gitna. So, kapag kinalahati ko siya, magiging WT section siya. So, in short, eto na yung magiging itsura niya, na WT section. Okay? Tapos, yung bar X natin, ismula dun sa centroid niya, papunta dun sa ating top flange. Okay? And that's actually the bar Y. Kaya lang, instead na W10 by 12, kakalahatiin ko siya, yung 10, magiging 5, yung 12, magiging 6. So, you will be having WT 5 by 6. And the bar Y of that is equal to 34.54. So, your bar X now would become equal to 34.54 mm. Okay? How about the L? Okay? So, yung length ng connection natin is from here, center point, hanggang dun. Okay? So, that's around 75 plus 75. So, that's equal to 150 millimeters. And so, our U for this case 2, that is 1 minus 34.54 all over 150. So, you will be having this one, 1 minus 34.54 over 150. So, you will be having a 0 0.77. Okay? Aside from that, May binigay din, so under the case 7, okay, balikan natin. For the case 7, for W, M, or I shape, shape section, kapag daw connected sa flange with 3 or more fasteners line of loading, i-check ngayon natin. So, dalawa na, <coughs> we will be having as BF, okay, i-compare natin if it is greater than or equal to 2 thirds of D, okay, or if the BF, is less than two-thirds of D. Okay? So, para dito, ang U natin dito would become equal to 0 0.9 and then dito ang magiging U natin so that 0 0.85. Okay? So, check natin. So, ang BF natin is uh, 100.58. So, let's try to have the two-thirds of the D. So, ang two-thirds of depth natin is 250.70. So, we will be having as two-thirds of 250.7. So, we will be having as 167.13. So, we let's compare it to the BF. So, mas mataas itong two-thirds. So, we will comply with this one. So, we will use U equals to 0 0.9. So, meron tayong dalawa ngayon. Ano? Isa and then dalawa. The code states na kapag meron kang dalawang U, you may use the larger value. Okay? So, we will use U equals to 0.9. Okay? So, to solve for the AE, okay, let's solve for the AE, that's equal to 0 0.9 multiplied to our AN which is 1,874.66. So, that's 1,874.66 times 0.9. So, you have here 1,687.19 mm squared. And then, we can now solve for our P sub N. So, that's equal to FU, 400 megapascal. Okay? And then, multiply natin by the AE, 1,687.19. So, you will be having the PN. Divide ko na by 1,000 para maging kilonewton. So, that's 600. 74.88 kilo newton. Okay? 
So, to solve for the PU, since we are asked for the ultimate, we will be having as P, Pn. Wherein the P is 0 0.75, so you will be having 0 0.75 multiplied by 674.88. So, you will be having 0 0.75, so 506.16 kilo newton. Okay, so this is now the answer for letter B. Okay, so that's how we solve it. Punta tayo sa block shear. Okay, so before that, I will try to delete first. No? Okay, so let's have now for the letter C. Determine its ultimate strength based on block shear. Okay, so actually, kahit isa lang ang bitin natin, no? Kaya lang, i-multiply lang natin apat kasi apat to eh. 1, 2, 3, and then 4. Okay? So, drawing ko muna. Okay? Parang uh, drawing ko muna to. 1. Lakihan ko na pala para kita. Okay? So, we will be having this 1. 1, 2, and then 3. Okay? Tapos, eto yung web. Ayan. Tapos, ikat ko na, no? Okay. So, parang isa na lang kinumpit ko. Tapos, multiply ko na lang apat. No? Kasi, we have here 1, 2, 3, and then 4. Okay? So, since this would be our pattern, okay, ito yung matatanggal kong block. Okay? So, pag natanggal yung block na yan, it will look like this one. Okay? Tapos, Mm -hmm. Okay. Yung area na to, it would resist. Okay? The tension side. Tapos, itong mga area mo dito, it would resist the shearing side. Okay? So, first, <clears throat> kailangan natin A and V, A and A, G, V, tsaka, unahin muna natin si A and V. Okay? A and V. Okay? So, mula dito, okay, Hanggang dito sa pinakagitna, ang distance niya, 50, 75, and then 75. So, that's around 200 mm. Okay? 200 mm. And then this one is equal siya sa 50. Okay? So, we will be having as A and V, so that's equal to the gross shearing area. So, WG or gross width, ima-minus ko yung hole. Okay? Yung diameter ng hole. Okay? So, diameter ng hole. Okay? Multiply natin, of course, by the thickness. Okay? So, yung width natin is 200 for the gross. Kaya lang, magma-minus ako ng isa, dalawa, kalahate. So, minus 2.5 number of bolts. Okay? So, we will be having as a uh, this one would become equal to 16 plus 3.2 mm diameter ng bolt plus allowance. Okay? So, ayan na siya. And then, multiply natin by the thickness of the flange. Kasi dun siya nakakonekta. So, we have the thickness of flange 5.33. Okay? So, this is now the net shearing area. So, we will be having as... Uh, 200 minus 2.5 times 16 plus 3.2. Okay, then multiply natin by 5.33. So, we will be having as 810.16 mm squared. Okay? Next, punta naman tayo sa net tension area. So, ito siya 50. Okay? Kaya lang, ima-minus natin ito. May kalahati ka pa doon. So, minus 0 0.5 of 16 plus 3.2. Okay? And then, multiply natin by thickness ng flange ng 5.33. Ito yung area na yun. Okay? So, ito is itong 50 minus half of the bolt hole diameter. Okay? 
So we will be having the A and P, which is 50 minus 0.5, multiplied it by 16 plus 3.2, multiplied it by 5.33. Okay, so we will be having as 215.332 mm squared. Okay, aside from that, kailangan ko rin ang AGV or the gross shearing area. Ito lang yan, wala lang diameter ng hole, so that's equal to 200 multiplied it by the thickness 5.33. Okay, so we can have it as 200 times 5.33. So that's 1,066 mm squared. Okay, now, unahin muna natin yung nominal P sub N. Okay, natatandaan pa ba? So basta tandaan nyo, that's 60%. Okay, so 60% of the FU multiplied by A and V plus UBS multiplied it by FU multiplied it by A and P. Okay? Ano yung UBS natin? Na-discuss ko na yan before. So, we will be taking as 1.0. Okay? So, we will be having as 0 0.6 400 multiplied it by the A and V which is 810.16 plus UBS 400 Multiply it by the A and P, which is 215.332. And then, i-divide nyo na by 1,000 para makuha nyo yung P sub N. So, that's equal to 0. 0.6 times 400 times 810.16 plus 1.0 times 400 times 215.332. Okay? So, divided by 1,000, we will get 280.57 kilo newton. Okay? Next, we need to check it at the maximum. Okay? Hindi dapat siya lumaki doon. So, we will be having as 0 0.6 FY AGV. So, based on the shearing, uh, based on the shearing, kaya lang dapat siya is nasa gross shearing area. Plus UBS multiplied by FU ANT. Okay? So, we will be having as 0 0.6 of 248 multiplied it by the AGV 1066 plus 1.0 UBS 400 multiplied by the ANT so ang ANT natin is 215.332 so we will be having the maximum 0 0.6 times 248 times 1066 plus 1.0 400 multiply it by 215.332. Okay? So, divide natin by 1,000. So, we will be having as 244.75 kilo. Okay? So, our PN nominal exceeds the maximum allowable. So, we will use PN, whichever the smaller of the two. So, you can have it as 244.75 kilo. Newton. And so, for our PU, Again, that would become our PPN. So, since uh, block shear is based on the rupture, so you will have it as 0 0.75 multiplied by 244.75. So, you will be having 0.75. So, 183.57 kilo newton. But take note, this is just for one plunge. Okay? Sabi ko nga, apat siya. So, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, you multiply it by 4 blocks. Okay? So, 4 blocks siya na similar. So, our answer for the PU times 4. So, that's equal to 734.26 kilo newton. Okay? So, that's it for the block shear. Okay? So... We have the miscellaneous topic actually that is the threaded part. Okay, pero pwede na natin i-skip siguro yun. So, maybe we could continue for the compression member. Okay? So, I hope you try to answer as much as uh, questions as possible na makikita nyo sa mga libro. No? So, meron kila Salmon, meron kila Segui, kila McCormack. Ang dami, ang daming libro international na LRF din na talaga yung ginagamit. Okay? So that, I guess, this one is for the tension uh, design, okay? For analysis and design of tension members. So we will proceed with the compression on the next video.